Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner where it is day 23. Uh, today we have the Napoleon fish from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Very pretty, lots of blues, a little bit of green, and some bright yellow eyes. I'll probably forget about that, you know me, I just... I forget about a lot of things as I do this. So yes, I think today I'm gonna play with my incredible inks and some colored pencils and maybe some watercolors. We'll see what I got. Maybe some special effect watercolors. I don't know, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I put my little Napoleon fish up there for my inspiration guidelines. Um, I'm gonna get this wet, put down some incredible inks and at least I'll have a background. I really have no idea what I'm doing today. I'm filling, since it's the Napoleon fish, I'm gonna do short, which also makes me wanna do round, but we'll see. So it does have yellow eyes, so at least I can put a splotch of yellow, but I think I'm gonna draw a whole mermaid. Well, merman, mermaid, merman, I'll do mermaid. This mermaid's tail is like, I think this was the very first incredible ink that I got from a friend, my friend Jenna, years and years and years ago. Do some darker blues down here. I love that that bubble popped and just like shot that way. And then this is my favorite one. And I'm gonna add a little more water. Maybe I won't, I was gonna close the book and do like a softer blend, but maybe I won't do that today. Maybe I'll just do drippy drips. And in that case, I'm gonna need some of this. Kind of smear it around. Just have it leak down. Spritz a little here and there. Kind of go back the other way. And, you know, get that before it starts coloring every page in the book. And I think we have a pretty good starting point. So I'm gonna dry this and uh, we'll see where we're gonna go. Not sure yet, not sure, but you know, somewhere. And I just keep adding. All right, let me dry this. All right, so it's nice and dry. I did dab it with the tissue a little bit along the way, just, I mean, you can't really tell, but there is a little bit of tissue texture in there. Some splotchy around the edges, just cause I wanted to, no real reason. So this Fishy Magishy has lots of blues. So I'm going to pick a blue. You know what, I could sketch it out with a pale blue and then start darkening it up with my indigo blue. So, non-photo blue, sounds good. And we'll bring in the indigo blue for the darker lines. I'm gonna pull out a yellow now, just maybe that'll remind me to do the eyes yellow. And there is some greenish hues happening. And I mean, a lot of these colors are already in the background, so I don't necessarily need to use the colored pencils this way, but whatever. And let's do like just a more vibrant blue. Cerulean, I do love, what is, is it this one? I do love Copenhagen blue, but I need to sharpen it because it's, the pigment just broke off. All right, gave all of my pencils a quick sharpen. So Napoleon fish, I'm thinking big round head, round body, little tail. Hmm, all right, big round head, little body. Possibly, I don't know if you guys can actually see it yet, but it'll be there eventually, I promise. I really don't know what this little dude is doing. And then, get the big old round booty. All right, and then in here, I didn't really make the hands doing anything. Maybe I should, they can come down here, up here maybe. Maybe I'll do that instead. Just little round hands, you know, Animal Crossing style. And then for the face, we do huge eyes. The thing doesn't have very big eyes actually. Maybe I'll do some small, far apart eyes. It does have very round lips. Maybe in there somewhere. Hey, look, we already got a yellow eye. 
didn't plan it, but it worked out. And a little nose. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna give just some cute little ears. And then for the hair, that thing's fins are kind of like, it's very gel plastered. So we'll just do a very gel plastered mohawk. So now let's take, hmm, the fin part, I will do blues and greens. I won't use the dark, dark blue for this bottom part. And we'll make the, the fins a little more green than blue. All right, and then for the body, ooh, I didn't pull out any flesh tones. All right, little, little hands. And then the face will have fleshy tones too. Now, ooh, maybe I'll bring in, well, maybe I'll do the lips blue. And I will just do the whole thing in colored pencil for the lips. And then I'll just take the next color up from my darkest blue, which is still quite a dark blue. I wasn't planning on doing this much pencil work, but I do love colored pencils. And I'll take the white. And then I'll go back in with my darkest blue, just cause some of the dark, dark details got lost. All right, ooh, those are some very blue lips. I feel like I should add a little red to them, but I won't. Alrighty, let's do some eyelashes. And then I'll take this yellow. And then we'll do blue dot in the middle. And then I'll do white for the whites of the eye. I do have one moment, please. Okay, well, I have a yellow paint pen. I just don't know where it is. I found one. Well, I guess that didn't do too much. Whatever. Alrighty, so I'm gonna add a little, let's add, hmm, oh, so many choices. I will start adding some details to the tail, keeping the darker colored pencil for the underside. And then we'll switch to this greenish one. Kind of just fading as I go up. A little bit of a lighter blue one. And then I'll fill that in with uh, paint in a little bit. Let's do some lines running through the tail. And for the upper part, I'm gonna bring in a brown. See if I can help this stand out a little bit. Ooh, sharpen. And I'll bring out this blue. Oh, I should shade a little under the nose. And I'll have blue brows. All right, I'm gonna bring in some paint and hope I don't screw this up. I haven't even decided what paint colors or uh, what paint palette I'm gonna use, but I do love my Brights palette by Jane Davenport. And it's got some of these colors in it already. So let me get those activated. Grab my paintbrush, my paper towel, some water. Alrighty, and I'll start with the tail and we'll do, I don't wanna do too dark of a blue. building the texture as we go up. I'll rinse that and I'm gonna add some of this mermaid color. Do I need to make a skin tone? Let's do, hmm, let's do some reds. And that purple that was already there. 
and we'll pick up some yellow. And some more blue, make it a little green tune. Add some of this. How are we looking? That looks good. Especially for the sh shaded areas. A little bit more red and pink. Give some blush. Just some color to that. Alright, let's give this a quick dry. Alright, I'm gonna add some yellow to the tail. Just to sort of mix these colors up a bit. And then for the face, I'm gonna create a shading color with some of this purple. Bring in that pink. And it might look awful on that green background, but we're gonna we're gonna try anyway. And I think for the background, I'm gonna add, I think I wanna make a dark, dark green and really push that background back. Let's try. I'm gonna dry that and do another coat because it kind of lost the whole mermaid body. All right, I'm gonna try a dark blue and purple. I'm gonna just kind of have it fade as it goes up. Alright, that helps the tail stand out a bit more. I think I'm gonna be done with the paints. I'm gonna dry this off really well and probably bring in some paint pens and colored pencils. Alright, we've got a dark, murky mess. Let's see if we can make it pop. Throwing in highlights first. And then we'll go to the darker. And then I'll go to the middle color just to kind of come to help combine the colors together. And now I'll just kind of swap between lights and darks and kind of start adding some details, like eyelids. I get a little pink for those cheeks. Alright, let's see if, hmm, maybe some yellow and white, see if I can add some more interest to this tail. That helps him stand out a little bit. Let's grab the paint pen. Sparkle. And I'm gonna grab 
Let's see, this might be the right color blue. Just some blue painty bubbles in the background. And he might be done. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this 23rd day of Mermaid, where we did the Napoleon fish. I added a lot more yellow to his uh, fin just to kind of make him stand out because I did the, the background was a little dark, a little murky, but whatevs. Without colored pencil and a little yellow there, he kind of, he kind of popped. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy today's Mermaid. Before I go, I gotta add some freckles. Just a couple. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow with another mermaid. We are nearly done. We got like what, a week, a little over a week left. Whew. All right, I'll see you then. Take care you guys. Bye-bye.